the controversial lawsuit of what the Hales is at a very crucial stage, with thousands of people supporting Jeremy and George for their legal battle against John and Lynette, we unfortunately have some bad news. In order to know the new update, you must first know the real reason behind why Jeremy and George filed a case against John and Lynette. It all started when what the Hales couple bought a property to live in. Everything was going well, but as it turned out, it was a silence before the storm. Their neighbors, who they initially thought were their fans, started creating problems. They started to harass them, accuse them of inappropriate behavior towards their child, and also demand money. Looking at their behavior, Jeremy filed a protective order against Lynette, but unfortunately, the state of Florida didn't get them one. However, he got one from the state of Ohio. In that protective order, it was also written that Jeremy should not talk about their neighbors on their YouTube channel. Things got more serious when Jeremy posted courtroom videos on the internet, causing more legal problems and making the judge mad. Jeremy said the judge, Craig D. Thomasis, was unfair to their neighbors. After many hearings on the court, one thing became more and more clear to Jeremy. He knew that this legal battle was not fair because the judge himself was biased towards John Cook and Lynette. After the fifth hearing, Jeremy filed a request called a writ of prohibition to get the judge removed. He wanted fairness, so he took his case to federal court and sued Lynette and John M. Cook on March 4th for assault, libel, and slander. Additionally, the duo also shared footage of a court hearing that took place in Ohio on October 10th, 2023. Unlike Judge Thomas's, this judge appeared more impartial, treating everyone fairly and handling the case with professionalism without being swayed by emotions. Adding to their happiness, Jeremy also stated that the Levy County Sheriff was finally going to arrest Lynette and John for violating the protective order. After months of legal battle, everything was starting to go well, but recent development in their case will surely make you upset. Recently, John and Lynette separately filed a motion to dismiss the lawsuit of Jeremy and George. As per the file of John Cook's motion, it is mentioned that, note that it is only a motion of John Cook, Lynette has filed a separate motion with separate reason. The complaint does not establish a minimum amount in controversy of $75,000. There are no allegations identifying any specific kind of damage or in amount. In summary, John's motion stated that this case should be dismissed because there is no federal question no diversity, and no allegation establishing the minimum amount in controversy for federal diversity jurisdiction. So why are John and Lynette so focused on proving that they do not have the option for diversity jurisdiction? Well, if diversity jurisdiction is available, a defendant in a state court case can unilaterally choose to move the case to federal court through the process of removal, and this can give Jeremy and George option to appeal to the higher court. So he thinks that the U.S. District Court for the Northern District of Florida lacks jurisdiction, and should dismiss the case. Upon closely looking at his case, it looks like John has done his research very well or he has consulted with a very good attorney. So you may also be wondering, what about the motion of Lynette? Well, as expected, she filed a complaint with some words such as that of John. Everything is completely the same except for the signature. Upon looking at both John's and Lynette's appeal, it looks like their main argument is to prove that they have been long native of Florida and to prove that they have attached a voter card of Jeremy to show his permanent address. However, the thing to note is that US citizens have a luxury to hold more than two voter cards for two different states. Amidst all the drama, the case is turning out to be more interesting day after day. What do you think? Will the court dismiss the case of Jeremy and George? Let us know in the comments below. Subscribe to our channel for more updates.